Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome to another video. Hold on, I just realized I forgot my rings. I legit always do that. I put my earrings on and then I walk out of my closet and I forget to put my rings on. Okay guys, welcome back to another video, another daily devotional with me, Lindsay. If you're new here, I am a stay-at-home mom to a three-year-old girl and a one-year-old boy. And I started posting daily devotionals literally my first video was a couple of days ago and I'm doing vlogmas so I post every day so I'm doing a little bit of daily devotional content and um, like stay at home mom vlog style content so if you didn't watch episode one of this daily devotional go watch that and we can get started together. I am in the Bible app. Um, the Bible plan is reigniting the joy of motherhood Lauren Gaines from Inspired Mother and we are on day Two, so I'm gonna read the devotional out loud and the Bible verses that follow. So definitely download the Bible app and join with me. Um, I would love to have like accountability together and we can talk, comment back and forth to each other and get through this motherhood journey alone. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up, consider subscribing and let's jump in. All right, today's daily devotional reads, Strength Under Control. Unconvinced moms are superheroes, especially when it comes to multitasking. The other day, our five-year-old daughter was working on her reading lesson when the baby started fussing. I picked up the baby, and a few seconds later, our son got a nosebleed out of nowhere. On our living room floor, I'm holding a tissue to my son's nose, helping our daughter sound out the word eagle, and the baby spits up down my shirt. I bust out laughing. As tears of laughter fall down my cheeks, my daughter insists, Mom, it's not funny. My reaction to the chaos surprised both of us. When I first became a mother, I often cried out to God, Please give me patience. Same. I quickly felt overwhelmed or frustrated when things got out of control. Same. Through motherhood, God is intentionally teaching me about self-control. Many times my lack of patience is really a lack of self-control. In my journey of raising small children, the Holy Spirit has taught me I have a choice. I can allow the chaos to dictate my emotions, or I can choose to rule over my natural impulse to yell at my children and choose peace instead. We can have strength under control. This change in my life didn't happen overnight. Choosing to control my thoughts and feelings instead of allowing them to control me has taken time. The Holy Spirit has transformed my thoughts and renewed my mind through the reading of his word. As I soak in God's word and allow him to mold my inward thoughts, slowly my outward actions change. Wow, I actually have a story about that, which I will do in a story time in a separate video. We can't do this alone. Thankfully, we have a God who tells us he will never leave us. We will not be shaken because he is right beside us. Psalm 16, 8. Ask, ask God today to renew your mind as you meditate on his inspired word. With his help, you can control your feelings and thoughts instead of allowing them to control you. Wow, y'all. And the Bible verse is Romans 12, 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is. His good, pleasing, and perfect will. And the next Bible verse was Psalm 16, 8, which says, I keep my eyes always on the Lord. With him at my right hand, I will not be shaken. Y'all, today's daily devotional was just as good as the other one. But like serious note with the devotional, it's so funny because this summer I taught my daughter the fruits of the spirit with the fruits of the spirit song from Chosen Kids on YouTube. So if you are interested in teaching your kids anything biblical, Chosen Kids and Listener Kids are really, really good uh, like little YouTube channels. We really like Chosen Kids. But anyway, I was teaching her the fruits of the spirit and it's like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Anyway, I always ask God in the morning, like, please Lord, give me the fruits of the spirit. And then every time I say fruits of the spirit, I like sing a little song because it's like something that we've been doing for months now. And um, patience, like patience, guys, like it's like, we have the fruits of the Spirit with us. We are baptized. We have the Holy Spirit with us. So we literally have the tools, the power that we need to get through the day because we have God within us and God doesn't fail. But yet we choose 
anger and we choose chaos and we and we choose to like stress and have anxiety over things when we have a god that literally dwells inside of us and that can literally be there and we don't have to do it all ourselves like we put everything on us when we can literally trust god trust the process trust everything that he's we're going through and surrender to him but it's hard to do that it is really hard to lay down your life and just surrender to god and trust that everything happening is for his will and his goodness because you want to control everything you you want to control this and this and your emotions and your feelings and your kids and your house and your everything because like as humans we are control freaks and as a new mom literally almost four years ago i would stress over the stuff i would stress over wake windows i would stress over ounces of formula or breast milk my baby was consuming i would stress over weight gain and weight checks i would stress over sleep and milestones and honestly that was just that eats away at the joy that you have when you're a mom because you're too busy stressing over this and this and this and you kind of don't know what to do and how to how to enjoy motherhood like literally enjoy motherhood and that's when postpartum anxiety creeps in and postpartum depression and you just feel it eating away at you where you look at motherhood like a challenge a burden hardness and just all these negative things when motherhood isn't made to be like that it's not supposed to be like that yeah not everything is going to be joyful and your baby's never going to be crying like obviously your baby will cry and you'll have hard days and hard times but that doesn't mean you have a hard life and i'm actually reading a really good motherhood book right now um it's from the author m is for mama it's called hard is not the same thing as bad and it's a really good book so definitely check that out on amazon but i think one of the key things she said in the devotional is we cannot do this alone thankfully we have a god who tells us he will never leave us we will not be shaken because he is right beside us psalm 16 8 and i think that's just such a good reminder and it's such a good thing to grasp and to hold on to when you're going through those hard times and those seasons where you're not sleeping and you can literally just count on god and that he will never leave you and never forsake you and i think we should just end on that note guys and i will see you in day three daily devotional and i hope that really inspired you it definitely inspired me definitely encouraged me and i hope that you give this video a big thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll see you in the next one bye